I'm about to show you something completely unique, but I'm not going to tell you about it. Marcel is. So Marcel, what are we looking at and how have you designed something that nobody else has ever done before? Well, mainly because it's hard, <laughs> right? But what we're looking at here, it's a very sophisticated zero point system. So um, if you are familiar with zero points, you will recognize some of the things when we go through it. But it was designed for the aerospace industry. So if you are from that industry, you will recognize this, right? So this is a, a may believe a, a, a fakish, uh, not proprietary um, wing component. And these things have extremely high uh, swarf removal um, rates, you know, 85, uh, 90, 95% uh, gets removed. And the, the, the aluminum billet, the way it's manufactured, when it's got road and all that, builds a lot of internal stresses and tensions. So when, if you've done this before, you start cutting, you start skimming them off, this component will start bending like a banana. And what do we do? We normally just keep flipping them around. So uh, we've been challenged with this by many customers and we came up with this concept. So basically this is in a very difficult nutshell to create kind of thing. This is zero point with compliance, right? So these zero points will allow your part to relax and breathe, in inverted commas, to its natural position and you cut again and again and again, eliminating or drastically reducing the need to flip the components. And that can be incorporated into the machine's control. So even if you do have to take as long as before, which on all our tests so far, we reduce cycles for about 60 to 80% of the time, but even if you had to, it can be automated now. Because we, met, we talked about many things automation today, and automation normally comes as an arm, a gantry. But just making something that you don't have to interact with, that, that's, that's essentially automation. So you can automate that part of the process. We are automating the relaxing side of things, reducing the time and reducing the amount of interaction you're gonna have with it. So how does that look like? This guy here, if you ever had one of our zero points, you're going to recognize it's our Vero S, box standard item. The magic is under it. So, this is our fake component. Goes in there. And now I have zero points. Right, fantastic. Now, what you're going to see here, this thing floats in all axes. So, this is why you're seeing here. We have a datum, we have a 2D, and everything else is free to move. So, when I close, this is rock solid now. So now I'm cutting my machine, all the tensions are building in, my, my butt wants to banana shape. The machine will send a signal, open it, oh, I release the butt. The machine sends a signal, we open it, the component will then relax, find its relaxed position, clamp again and cut again. And all of that has been automated, all of that has been done within these environments. Uh, we've been working on this for ages. AMRC has been crucial on this actually. We ran quite a few trials and final developments at the AMRC. So this is partially British. Uh, you know, it, it is German made and German design, but there's a lot of British intervention in here and a lot of British help with the voice from AMRC as well. So obviously that's going to help people in the aerospace industry, but how do you know how much that part has moved from when you've machined it the first time and reclamped it? Right, so... Uh, you can have, so if you look around, you can probe this thing. So what we're trying to simulate here is when you have your ready shore uh, probe, branding, but normally, right, okay, whatever. Uh, you have a ready shore probe coming in, touching, and you can tell, and then you can retrofit that into your machine. So then, like you said, people in aerospace industries who are machining one side, flipping it, flipping it, you've got to have somebody stood there to do that you've got to just you've got to keep probing that part up you've got to keep moving the datums you've got to keep moving the holes this takes all of that out and like i said 60 to 80 percent cycle reduction time per part yes. so that over a production run must your customers must be over the moon with this solution they are and uh this is truly magical it is one of those events there 
you know, if technology is advanced enough, it's indistinguishable from magic. This is kind of one of those things, you know. It's truly remarkable, the capacity of this. And it's quite difficult for people to grasp it. Like, what, what does it look like? Yeah, is it floating all the time? So it, it's one of those things, we don't even gonna go into the details, the accessories that go around this, we could be here forever. The point is, if you are in these, environments, if you are doing these kind of components, you recognize the challenges and you will recognize the solution.